Well, today marks 25 years since television news anchor Jody Hoosentrout vanished. The Long Prairie, Minnesota native was working in Mason City, Iowa at the time. As Jennifer Austin tells us, the case into her disappearance remains active. Another year, another anniversary. Outside the Mason City TV station where she worked, a ceremony for Jody Hoosentrout. Fewer people in face masks because of the pandemic, a sign of the times, while still no sign of Jody. Don't think because the world is consumed with other news that she's forgotten. Caroline Lowe is an investigative journalist and part of the Find Jody team, a group of investigators who continue to look into the unsolved case. What happened? to Jody. They launched a podcast this month on what would have been Jody's 52nd birthday, hoping to keep eyes on her story and find answers about what happened the early morning of June 27, 1995, when Jody left her apartment late for her job anchoring the morning news. America's most highly publicized missing children. She never made it. She was very easy to follow. You knew her schedule anchoring the 6 a.m. and noon news. Her home number, her address were even listed in the local directory. She would have been very easy to find. The 27-year-old dreamed of working in the Twin Cities, seen here interning on election night at CARE 11, where she spoke with the then news director about her career. Her audition reel is what she used to tell Jody's story. On this 25th anniversary, both the Minnesota BCA and Mason City Police Department have put out a call for new information. But I believe there's information still there, that there's information. I think the most critical area is northern Iowa, Mason City area, or southern Minnesota. We, again, we found that with Jacob. He was right there. Are there lessons from that investigation that you think apply to Jody's? I think there are lessons to be learned, particularly from the focus on one person for many, many years who turned out not to be connected with Jacob's abduction. Maybe the most important lesson from Jacob is to keep hope for Jody. Very different people, very different circumstances, but they're both Minnesotans, well-known Minnesotan cases that were unsolved for many years. Found Jacob. Now we need to find Jody. If you have any information on the case, you should call Mason City Police. We have that number at care11.com. Meanwhile, you're asked to leave a porch light on tonight to help remember and honor Jody.